out in the deserts of Iran, where sun and sand slowly erode the last relics of the ancient Silk Route, lies the legacy of another millennium. We've been invited to a place that for generations was a sacred, secret location. Hidden away behind the scorched mountains lies Chak Chak, holy shrine of the Zoroastrians, religion of the ancient kings of Persia. <laughs> Waiting at the door, our host, Mr Yazdani, guides us into the spiritualism of another age. در حالی که یعنی ما اصلا معاتش بزرگ را خورشید میدونیم خورشید نوری از احرامزا است ما احرامزا میگیم کل نوره یکی از آفریده های احرامزا هست خورشید با این هست که جهت نماز ما یعنی قبل ما خورشید است نور هست روشنایی هست This was one of the first religions to believe in a single omnipresent god They believe their prophet Zoroaster was born of a virgin mother in what is now Afghanistan. <laughs> Satan, heaven and hell were all Zoroastrian concepts, later embraced by Christianity and Islam. <laughs> Scholars now claim the three wise men who paid tribute at the birth of Christ were in fact Zoroastrian priests. <laughs> وجود زردوش دقیق نمیدونیم ما زردوشی ها تا چهار هزار سال بیشتر نمیتونیم تاریخ را نشون بدیم منطقه بعضی از استادان دانشگاه بگن که اشون زردوش قبل از بودا بوده بودا شش هزار سال پیش زندگی میکرده به بودا در کتاب خودش مینوشد که من از آین زردوش موسیقی It's easy to see why they came here, a location that is both scenic and strategic. When the Arabs invaded Zoroastrian Persia in the 7th century AD, they conquered in the name of Islam. Those who refused to submit fled to these desert strongholds. In half Farar Kardan as Pars, as Chispun, Kepoy Tafta Sasan Ebudev, Dr. Ronishoy as Gil Farar Kardan, Yekishum Mira Sabinja. اینجا که می رسد در حین فرار می رسد جرابش کوه هست پشت سرش هم لشکر دشمن آمده هستند که دستگیرش کنن می گه یا پروازگار را مران نجات بده اینجا کوه دنباز می کنن می رسد داخل کوه و از داخل کان که می رسد این چسم آب و این قطره های آب از اونجا پدید دار می شه کوه هم از حال تو به گرده در می رسد مغید ما در دشتان این طور هست Permitted by Iran's ruling mullahs to wear their traditionally bright colours, they stand reassured by their three basic tenets. A day's camel ride from Chak Chak lies the ancient city of Yazd, home to the dwindling community of 6,000 Zoroastrians. Little has changed since the armies of Alexander the Great and Genghis Khan trudged through these alleyways. They chose to spare the city. Some say it was divine intervention. Now, tough heritage preservation orders guard the city just as effectively as the restored battlements of old. We find community leader Mr Yazdani amid the circuitry of his electronics repair shop. Even Zoroastrian leaders need a day job. زندگی بالاخره باز کار بکنن در هر کشوری باشیم فرق نمیکنه به کجای کره زمینی باید فعالیت بکنیم هزینه زندگی رو تامین بکنیم Zoroastrians he says have managed to survive in the volatile climate of Islamic fundamentalist Iran for one simple reason والا دلیل اینکه 
قابل قبول هستن زرتشتی ها در کل دنیا دلیلش اینه که به سیاست هیچ کشوری کار نداره روابط بین زرتشتی و مسلمون ها البته بعد از انقلاب من فکر میکنم بهتر شده بدتر نشده The Zoroastrian fire temple of Yazd now draws a new generation of pilgrims keen to learn the meaning behind the religion's wing symbol. Iranian authorities regard Zoroastrianism as part of Islam's heritage and welcome these Spanish tourists with their desperately needed dollars. The big draw card here is the temple's eternal flame, reputed to have been burning for 1,200 years. But tourism alone may not be enough to save the Zoroastrians of Yazd. Their numbers steadily declining through emigration and a ban on conversions. Even their ascent to the next life has been hampered by the modern world. Just a stone's throw from the suburbs of 20th century Yazd, we meet Zoroastrian Adashi Bazadeh. تعداد کوششیدانی گویی که اینجا می آوردن و دفع می کردن که کاملا مشخص نیست ولی بایستی متجاوز از صد ها هزار نفر باشه. This is the Tower of Silence. Until the early 1960s, the final resting place for the Zoroastrian dead. مردگان را اینجا می زشتن تا گوشت اونها توسط این کرکس ها خورده بشه و آفتاب و گرما هم میکروب ها را از بین ببره اون چه که باقی میموند می اصخون بود و اصخون هم که پاک بود و اون را در اون چا دفت میکرد This age-old ritual was stopped by health authorities who feared disease would spread to the encroaching suburbs. The vultures are long gone and Zoroastrians are now buried in cemeteries. But many dream of a day when the great birds return and the health regulations of the modern world turn to dust. A day when the faithful can once again ascend the Tower of Silence to heaven. And if the meek do inherit the earth, perhaps many of them will be the followers of this ancient yet gentle faith.